Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra. In this video, we will do the practice of exam Red Hat 188. This is going to be the third lab session. And in this lab, we will understand the environment variables in the containers. So we we'll let go ahead and understand what exercise we need to do. So exercises environment variable in containers. Here, what we have to do, we have to create two containers. First container should name should be container one. Second container name should be container two. Uh, we should use image this from the Docker Hub. Uh, okay, to build our container. Our container should be run in the background. Uh, bind both the containers to port 8080 to the local port 8003. So the container port 8080 will be uh, will be uh, binded to the local port 8003. So whatever uh, traffic we will receive in the local uh, machine 8080 port, it will be forwarded to the 8080 port to the container. Then we have to set environment variable. For first container, we have to set environment variable, this, and for second container, this. So let me go ahead in our lab environment. So we are having Podman here. Okay, and uh, let me see what all processes are running inside our Podman, Podman PS-A. So one uh, container is running, which we run in the last lab. So let me go ahead and create this container quickly. So what we have to do, we have to create two containers with these name and we have to use this image, right? So, and uh, the port forwarding and background should be there, right? So to create container, we will use command podman run and command will create container. Our container should be done in uh, background. So we will do use the detach means hyphen D option. Then container name should be container one. And uh, then uh, the image and the port forwarding should be there. So port for forwarding uh, for we will use hyphen P for, for port forwarding and uh, local port 8003 will be port to container port 8080 and uh, then here we have to set the environment variable also right so let me copy it from here so environment variable should be this for container one so we are using hyphen e for 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 setting environment variable and this is our environment variable we have set and now the image name right so this is the image name uh, we have to give let me copy it from here and paste it here and right execute it Okay, so it is trying to get image from the Docker Hub. Okay, docker.io as we did not specify any specific registry. So as of now, it is pulling the image from the Docker registry. Once it is done, then it will create the container. Let's wait for it. So by this command, our first container will be created. Once it's created, we will check whether this container is running fine or not and uh, whether this environment variable is set up correctly or not. Let's first check whether our container is running good. Okay, so our container is running up, okay. In up status, port forwarding is good, name is also good, okay. And it seems that container health is also good. So let me go ahead and check whether our container is running here or not. So uh, in the site here, our port should be, 8003 let me run it right so we got the output and runtime environment is container one so everything is looking fine here now okay so uh, now what we have to do uh, we have to stop this container first before creating the container two because uh, as per our problem statement um, both uh, containers uh, should be bind to port 8003. If we if container is already running, that second container once we will create and trying to run it, it will it will give us error because this 8003 port is already bind, right? Uh, so that's why it will it will give us the error. So before creating a second container, we have to uh, stop first container now, right? 
So let me first clear our screen. And now, um, Podman PS, this is our container and let me first stop first container. Podman stop container one, okay, name of the container. So now our container has been stopped. If we again run the Podman PS command, it will not list down the our container, okay. If we want, then we have to give the hyphen A option means all containers, either in stopped state or something, okay? So you can see our container is exited, exited state, okay? Container is already there, but this container is not running now. Now let me create, quickly create the second container and then we will check this as well. So let me update the command of the first container itself. So the second container name should be container two. Binding should be same port binding and environment variable should be container two here and image should be same. Now let's we run it. Our container is created. Let me check with the podman ps command. So here our second container is up and running. Let me check this again in the browser. Okay, let me refresh this page. So now it is showing the container too. So everything is looking good and we have completed this exercise. Hope you like this video. Thank you.